All right, guys. Um, hit that uh, like like button. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks to the guy that I didn't catch myself even saying the way I was saying it. But like I said, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Um, what I'm trying to do or been trying to do is find a bigger valve spring. Or not bigger, but uh, stronger. Because these valve springs just don't have any. I mean, you can I can take it and squeeze this thing all the way shut. So, I have a hunch that the problems I'm running into, because I've did all the port work, did all that, it needs stronger valve springs, which that's what you do to 212 to gain more power out of it. So what I figured out, because I couldn't find nothing online, is this spring, this is the 212, 22, uh, I think it's 22 pound uh, valve spring. It fits perfect. Like, it's like a direct fit into there. So, um, what I'm hoping is, is this spring acts like a guide to hold this spring in this position. And then come to find out that the cap that holds the valve together snaps right into the uh, stock valves for this, for this. I already have this one in. And I'm going to, of course, use the, uh, this is the cap right here. That's for this size. It's too small for this one because I'm using a 212 uh, cap. So I'm going to use on that. There is a chance. I don't know if this will happen or not, but I'm not scared of blowing it up. Because like I said, I have another one right here and I have another one under the bench. If this valve's running... If this valve slips out of this, it feels really good. I can sit here and, I mean, it takes a lot of pressure now to actually push that down. But it doesn't seem to be moving. So, we're going to find out because once it revs up, if this lets go, it's going to drop a valve and it's going to destroy the piston. If it doesn't, great. And uh, But I just want to know what your guys' thoughts on this. I just, I can't find any springs for this motor, and I really feel like that's what this motor is lacking is, I mean, this, this is like crazy spongy. I, I've dealt with tons of these four stroke little motors, but th these springs are just like, there's no tension to them at all. So, leave it down in the comments what you guys think about this idea. We're going to still run this, no matter what. This isn't the head that's for that bike. This is just a spare head I'm having set outside. I'm going to uh, find something, a rag or something I can stuff down inside the cylinder. I don't want to pull the head off because I'm going to have to more, order more head gaskets if I have to pull the head back off. But I'm going to stuff a rag down in there to hold the uh, valves up and swap in these uh, 212, 22 pound valve springs and just give it a run. Like I said, if it blows up, it blows up. And then we'll go from there. If it holds, that would be awesome. But I think that's where we're going to see a lot of power gain is these springs being stronger. So just let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.